Welcome wrestling fans. Holy cow, this one got off to a crazy, absolutely crazy start. This is Zella Pro's Anniversary 1. I am Jimmy D with Higgs Kincaid, and we are off and running on this knockout only match here at Anniversary 1 as Simon Grimm is still looking to destroy Pat Monix, who gets a beautiful head slam running from the stage into the ring. And we, this match is officially underway now that both participants are in the ring, and but Iggs, only way to win, knockout. Knockout, knockout, K-N-O-C-K-O-U-T. Grimm's got it in his vocabulary, does Pat Monix. Simon didn't even let him come out of the curtain. He already on him, just just on him. Boom, 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 boom. But Monix getting the upper hand again. You know, he said, you punch me in the face, I'll stand up. You kick me in the head, I'll stand up. We'll see how long that'll hold. And Pat Monix already using some of those newly found boxing skills that he picked up between his last encounter and now, and Simon Grimm with on the receiving end of the snapmare and the beautiful flush kick, and Andy Two Juice Long in there laying down the count. Monix is definitely a, a fan favorite at Zello Pro, and he's undefeated, correct? Undefeated thus far at Zello Pro, and all the momentum is on his side coming into this contest. Oh, look, did you hear that? That slow slaps are right on the ear. If he throws off the equilibrium of Pat Monix, it's going to be easier to knock him out. Forbidding and uninviting hits by Mr. Simon Grimm. And, and in reality, if you Google Grimm, the meaning of it, it is an adjective. It means forbidding or uninviting. He's a very forbidding or uninviting character. I'll tell you what uninviting was Worthless. for Pat Monix was that incredible neck drop suplex, that backdrop driver, if you will, and Monix might be down and out right here. You know, since early this night, we've been actually in the first match, we were discussing the importance of ring psychology. How much of an effect do you think Grimm has had on Monix with his constant social media bombardment? I mean, it's been like carpet bombing. You don't, Monix probably can't climb out of bed in the morning without some type of provocation from, from Grimm. Yeah, Grimm's been waiting six months to get his hands on Pat Monix. Here's his opportunity now as he stomps him here in the corner. At arrival in April in Milwaukee, these two were both involved in a five-way contest. Believe it or not, never laid a single hand on one another. Neither one came out the victory, but Pat Monix was not on the losing end. Therefore, we do say that he is still undefeated in competition here at Zello Pro. And, you know, ge generally in life, well, let's look at... Uh, at, at Simon Grimm like a bully. When a bully picks on somebody, they see something that they are jealous of. What do you think Grimm could possibly be jealous of Monix? It's got to be that undefeated streak. What else? That, that's a, a lot of individuals have speculated. Why is Simon Grimm, why did he target Pat Monix like this? Why does he want to hashtag destroy Pat Monix? It seemed like just unprovoked, uncalled for. I mean, it all was started building up 
to that first matchup in April, but it was it started before that though. And fans remember, this is no no pinfall, no submission, no DQ. You can only win by knocking your opponent out. So if you're sitting close, get ready to sit even closer. Oh, beautiful knife edge chop. There's an explosion he needed. Stingy sting. All five piggies went to the market, and so did those five. Here we go. It's going to be a bar. back and forth game. Oh, he got that big kick up, uh, up to this upside of Pat Monix's head. That rainmaker Yakuza kick. You know, Grim, Grim just looks like a like a praying mantis man. Just. Well, he's definitely a kill. throwback. Definitely a throwback. That kind of like old old style vaudeville. Uh, pun intended. Oh, head first into the post, and that could do it. Speaking of which, if you were uh, born on Mars or on the other side of the moon. Mr. Simon Grimm is a former WWF superstar, NXT tag team champion with Chicago native Aiden English. Most definitely, and here we go. But and that, that kind of experience he brings into this contest here. But Pat Monix, I still think this, this crowd support that he has, is I just see it bringing him to victory in this match. You know what? And what we were discussing earlier, I was saying earlier. There's a 3-1-2. Maybe that's another thing that Grimm is jealous of. There's got to be something. Something's making that man's blood boil. A little springboard off the apron there with that single leg drop kick. And Simon Grimm out on his feet. Monix firing up the monoxides. Gets Suicide to dive to the outside onto the chairs. Simon Grimm saw it coming and just grabbed Monix and just pivoted his body. That's that low center of gravity. That's that, like, that... That ground game wrestling prowess that Grimm brings with him into each and every one of his contests. And experience. You know, when you think of Simon Grimm's career thus far, and he's had a young career, he's fought every type of man there is to fight. Monix coming through the ropes at him with a suicide dive, nothing new. Well, this is creative. Yeah, knockouts only. That no disqualification in this match. That chair is legal as a headlock. Ooh, beer! What beer just got wasted? Eggs. Not sure what you feel about I that. I don't know, man. That's a party foul. This is the city of Chicago. That was at least thirteen bucks. <laughs> Head first into the apron goes Simon Grimm and Pat Monix. Here we go. Oh, he got caught though. Face first into the apron. Simon Grimm to capitalize on this, no question. Oh, that chair. Oh, that, no. that chair has some give to it, Pushing though. the fans out of the oh, way. Oh, not anymore. Look at this. If he hits this running kick, oh. that might do it, Iggs. Two juices right no, there. That, you know what, Jimmy? I got to disagree with you here because this man has been provoking him for six months. There's no way that one sick, evil chair shot is going to fulfill Grimm's dark, black, mirthless heart and satisfy whatever it is that he's been wanting to kill Monix over. Well, devil's advocate, I would suggest no matter how bad you want it, you get hit in the head hard enough, it's going to knock you out. And that you that running kick to the chair right into the head of Pat Monix yeah. looked like that did the trick. Such a packed house, it's tough for me to see from here. What I count saw the foot. referees on? I saw foot, I see movement, I see people getting excited, Grimm's walking over. We got a count of eight. I can hear two juice long. Now he got to his feet. Monix is alive. Oh, oh. just running is. I think that was some blood right, ac right across the eyes. And yeah. My, oh, you're a sick man, Grim. You're a sick man. Question is, whose blood is that? Is that blood on Simon Grimm's forearm, or did he, is or is Pat Monix bloodied in the face? I think that's what it is. He's bloodied in the face. He got him. Huh. How, how, how demented does Grimm have to be to bust open another man, rub his blood, lick it, and then spit it on him? Spit it on him! Over by the bar now. Yeah, no fancy monitors here in Zello Pro. We're going to have a difficult time. Does he have a shot? No. Is that a shot glass? Please, please don't do it. Do not no, put that not into, into the cut. No, he takes, oh, oh, into the cut, man. Come on. Not going to knock you out, but Come it's going to sting like hell. I know that's that, 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 that kills any bacteria from him licking your wound, but that's got to sting, man. That is pouring flames into an open wound. It just woke Monix up. Gave it him did. his second win. It woke him up. I think that's exactly what happened. Got a spinning punch. Looks like Monix is picking up some type of foreign object. No. Oh, uh, Grim cut him off with a forearm to the face. 
Grim, oh, just bent, pulled his hair back, chopped him over the over the top of his face, and just drove Pat Monix down onto the hard, hard floor. Hear it, Joe's live on Wheat Street in Chicago. And if you're not here, if you're just in, in, within the city limits and you're sitting at home not doing anything, you should be kind of ashamed of yourself because these two gentlemen are absolutely well. It's not two gentlemen; it's one disgusting, grim, grisly black trunk human being and Pat Monix I guess we can't and no, no type of gentleman would be in this type of match no absolutely not and he just keeps just riding that wound man yeah, Simon Grimm with those cross faces using his own leg to pin back an arm limiting the defense of Pat Monix but Monix once again to his feet fighting back just like he said he would he said he couldn't be knocked out that he'll keep getting back up and he's showing Monix it here catching third wind Misses with the knee strike. Got Grim the, the jump jumping. Kick to the upper back. And if, if you look, if you this is once again that technicality. You look at how the light's hitting off of the top of Pat Monix's back. There is a massive bruise forming where that foot connected. Look at it. Looks like you shot him with a, with a, a paintball gun 30 times. Pop, 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 pop. Yeah, that is, that is clear as day. You're absolutely right, Iggs. And now beautiful. Blood on the face. Bruises on the back, Jimmy, he's he's in bad shape, man. European uppercut, a hard shot, and a signature of Simon Graves. And we got, oh, I thought I was going to see a slingshot. That looks but like he's, he's going for a sharpshooter? Yeah. Or oh, oh, maybe a standing Indian death lock. No, no, don't. No. Yeah, he's got the standing no. Indian death lock here. Now, Pat Monix, he's got the ropes. But it does not matter in this match, fans. Remember that. Exactly. There's no DQ. No submission. He's working that oh, knee. He's tearing that knee apart. Curb stomp look coming up, and he got it. Curb stomping him with the use of the rope. Monix is done. Monix is done. All the Zello Pro fans are mad because they're heroes on the ground, but what can you do, man? Grim is six months of provocation, and he's capitalizing on it now. He's hitting the boom. And Grim apparently satisfied with the dis destruction that he has laid on Pat Monix. Hanging back, walking around, just enjoying the sound of Andy Two Juice Long's possible 10 count here. And, you know, in a world of uh, modern world of, of professional wrestling where you see a lot of bright colors and things, when you see Simon Grimm, you just, it's like an ode to the old school. Yeah. That meme that floats around of the Irish prize fighter shirtless in the early 1900s, that's what he looks like. Look at that chop. Man, Pat Monix had something going, but he got cut off right there by that ninth inch chop. Very unforgiving. He got all of that one, spinning back fist style, almost like a hurricane. Look, he cut, he kept his palm open, though, so it was like a spinning backhand, almost like a pimp yeah. slap, if you will. A pimp slap. He, and you know what? He's pimp slapping him to wake him up from the curb stomp that he just gave him. What is driving this man's madness to inflict so much pain on Pat Monix? I got, I, I, it's going to bother me in my sleep. Oh, hey. nice reversal by Monix. Went for the suplex, did Grim Pat Monix counter with a stunner, and this is a de was kind of a defensive desperation move, but he got all of it, and now both men down. I expect Grim to get up first, just because Monix has been on the receiving end of some serious pain. Let's hear this crowd. I'm thinking 75-25 on the crowd support. Yeah. And uh, I, Jimmy, I think it's 100 for Monix and uh, 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 Simon sucks for 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 Mr. Grimm. Oh, I got big. But my right ears hand. could be deceiving me. Driving those elbows in, he gets the open hand slap. They're trading back and forth with. Oh, but this time Monix goes for the elbow. He gets There's the blood forearm. on the canvas, blood on Grimm's chest. Roaring elbow gets all of it. Does Monix? Just a charging elbow by Grimm. Oh, he got all that one, oh, yeah. too. Brutal. My goodness. Now can you... S oh. Comes charging in with that elbow. He doesn't have his best elbow hit yet. Ducks the clothesline. Got the exploder. Monix is alive. He is up. Monix is breathing. Gets the sidekick. Drives him across the knee. Gets once again a roaring elbow. Gets him down to his knees. Return curb stop. Return to sender, Mr. Grimm. Referee laying down the count. 
And once again, if you take a look at Pat Monix's upper back, he's 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 bruising. I'm wondering now what Simon's feeling after that curb stomp. Strategy tough in this one because if you let your opponent take the 10 count, you're also letting your opponent rest. He got all of that one. Oh. Off the second row, pigs. Uh, I'm just in shock. Three curb stomps in one match. It's just like, whatever you give me, I'm going to give you. That's what Monix said. That's what Grimm's been giving to him. It's just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. If he goes for a third one, this is done. Put a coffin. Put yep. a nail in the coffin, man. Heading up top, looking for maybe Taking another curb long. stomp. Come on. Misses. Oh, missed the third one. Oh. Half Nelson suplex. Down into the corner is Monix. And Grimm comes with a big charge. Got the Rainmaker. He got all of that one. Monix out on his feet. Simon Grimm may be served, just let him fall, Take maybe try out a 10 count here. Monix, precarious position. Oh, look at this. Air raid crash maybe from the second rope. Watching out for the, the piping, the tubing, the duct system. Monix trying to reverse it for a power bomb. Can't get the powerful Grimm off the ropes. Grimm oh. is stuck in a dangerous position. Oh. Got the bicycle kick. In all my years of watching wrestling, I have never seen anybody stuck in that position. Cross Town Classic, he got that elbow. Simon Grimm is up though, he's making his way to his feet, making and, sure and, he has ropes to pick where himself up. Being a fan favorite works in your advantage. If Grimm asked a fan for a chair, they'd probably spit in his face and he'd probably spit Pat Monix's blood right back at him. Crowd calling for what they want to see, Pat Monix. Extremely no. athletic. He's just shades of Rob Van Dam. He's going, oh, Monix going for a coast to coast, having a little slip on his blood. I think there's blood. He slipped in his own blood. I think blood loss may have had something he to do with in it, his too. Own blood and and he busted did, his knee. And he, and he did hurt his knee earlier in the match when he missed a running charge. Maybe it's knee giving out. Maybe he's slipping on his own plasma. I, I don't know. I don't know. And yeah, he was still able to get a semblance of a forearm, but it wasn't all what that Pat Monix wanted to get. Whichever, no way. Whichever way you want to slice it, it worked in Grimm's favor. At least I think so, but let's see. Looking for the final phase, that escalating oh. DDT goes low, perfectly legal. Dirty, but perfectly Plan legal. Plan on having kids in the future, Mr. Monix? I don't think so. And Pat Monix on the receiving end of a running knee, that could be it. You take that's, a, all, that's all she wrote, man. He's done. You take a kick in between the legs like that, followed by a running knee. You may not want to get up, even if you can, the uh, kind of pain you'd be in. Uh, Grimm hasn't been busted open. Monix is dealing He's with blood moving. loss from early in the match. Uh, he, Simon Grimm making sure. I think he was worried that, Gar Simon, that Monix. Pat Monix was going to get up. Pat Monix just kind of wriggled his way free. And power bomb. I think he got a kick down on the way down. But Simon Grimm, I think he was meaning for that chair, and these two are just, there's a beautiful power Second bomb. Second power bomb. There's no pin, Grimm. There's yeah, no, no pins pin. here. That, 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 that's instinct and experience, you know? He's just, you do it night after night, day after day, city after city, country after country, continent after continent. Grimm's been all around. The undefeated streak, very much at, very much at danger here. With every second, we're at eight. Eight, oh no, he's not moving. Ixie's not moved. That's it. That's nine. That's, that's it. That's it. We got a winner. Simon Grimm has ended the undefeated streak of Pat Monix, and he has destroyed Pat Monix. Blood loss and three power bombs, ladies and gentlemen. The winner of the knockout only match, Simon Grimm. Win, 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 loss.